I'm, my name is Rory Shear. I'm from St. Paul, Minnesota in the United States. I want to start a camel dairy and I want some training. I wanted some training to be able to work with the camels. And I looked all over to try and find somebody here in the States and on the internet and I couldn't really find anything. And I found the uh, Camelier Academy online and really uh, connected with the trust base um, message, um, the whole intent of treating the animal with respect and building this relationship with the animal and and being more on a, a equal level of, like I said, respect. Uh, that really motivated me to seek you out. Before I was here, I, I wasn't sure that I could do it. I wasn't sure that I could um, work with these animals and I wasn't sure that I could uh, that my the, the dream of having a dairy the goal of having a dairy I didn't I wasn't sure that it was possible because I didn't I, I didn't know if I could work with these animals and I didn't know if I could have the confidence ability and, and I didn't know that I that I could be the person who handled the animals and now I, I really feel like I have the skills the tools in my toolbox to 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 be able to do what I want to. Right. Before this course, I had spent about a year um, looking into camels, and so after that, it, it, within that year, I kind of learned that what I thought I knew about camels was wrong. Mm -hmm. And what I thought I knew about camels was that they were bad-tempered, that they were mean and spit and kicked, and, and were just like, as a rule, a uh, 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 ill-tempered animal. And um, that couldn't be any farther from the truth. So doing my due diligence and coming here, you know, my diligence in researching and trying to find out about them more and, and then coming here, it's really just dr driven that home. Like I know that, I know that there are these beautiful, intelligent, sensitive, loving creatures that, you know, are totally misunderstood. I feel a lot more capable. I, I, I feel like I've come out of a shell almost, like, because it was these, you know, to be the person who, you know, I, I've seen people work with animals, but to be the person who's there and doing it and and experiencing, like, what, what, the, what it's like to interact and how, y how the camel interacts with me as much as I interact with it. A big, it was a big like life change. I've never worked with big animals before, so I've kind of just like jumped into this. This course has given me more confidence. It's given me the ability to know that like, that the camel will respect me. Like that I can be respected by the camel if I respect the camel. And it's given me just like, yeah, confidence and self-assurance. Something I didn't know I could do. It has given me the ability to feel like I can go forward now with my with my dreams if there's if anybody who's thinking about doing this camel course that as far as working with you and russell or working with the camels if anything like that they're worried about like not having a good experience or not getting the attention or the attention they need to get what the class says it'll give you like all those things happen you'll get everything you need to to be successful. I don't think any should I don't think anything should hold anybody back who's considering this course. They should just say yes and and go for it. Don't let the fear stop you. Don't let the fear stop you. That's that's it. <laughs> when I was trying to get Steven to hush and he was like bluffing me, I was I was scared. You know, I was very scared and just because he's so big and he seemed much more comfortable doing what we were doing than I did, but I was, I just, I, I said, okay, I'm afraid, but I'm still going to do this. Yeah, don't let the fear stop you because there's something on the other side, you know? There's growth and I feel like I've broken out of my chrysalis or something. Like it's, I didn't know I could do these things and it's been, oof, it's been great. It's been really great.